Okay. So I gave you the specifics earlier. Um, really, the only update I have is that we continued negotiations with him. Uh, ultimately, we, we did take some tactical uh, response to the trailer, and then he willingly came out and surrendered himself to our, our SWAT team. So he was taken into custody. He's being interviewed by investigators right now. Uh, there's a couple ways this could go. It could be as simple as a mental hygiene arrest. That, that will happen no matter what but we're still continuing to investigate the, the allegation he reported at first involving the neighbor um, and what exactly happened there and if, if this is just a true mental episode or if there was some type of exchange. What was that first allegation? The, the first allegation was he called prior to just before 2 a.m. and he said that his neighbor had pointed a firearm at him. And uh, deputies were dispatched and when the deputies got to the complainant's trailer, he then made some type of comment to them about get off my porch if you want to go home to your family, something to that effect. So it's odd for someone to call us for help and then make an aggressive comment to the deputy there trying to assist them. So again, I mean, you have a lot, a lot of things going on that we're investigating, uh, but preliminary, it looks like a, a mental health issue. So at this point, I know you said you're interviewing him now, but what other possible charges could there be? Well, there, there could be uh, charges of falsely reporting an incident. If, if that, if we were looking at that the, the allegation never happened, what he's saying alleged to have happened, that this guy pointed a gun at him, if that didn't happen and you report that to the police, there is a potential for a falsely reporting. Um, there's also the possibility if he's just truly having a mental health breakdown that there are no criminal charges filed. And this is just a, a trip to the doctor's uh, strong memorial or one of the area hospitals to get him evaluated and hopefully the help he needs. And I know that his brother was in the home earlier mm -hmm. today, right? Did he say anything about that? The brother was. He's been spoken to and we're continuing to talk to him. Everybody has been cooperative aside from the guy who called us. He is now cooperating with us. But again, it took our tactical team to uh to force him to be uh responsive to coming out of the house and the person who he said was originally pointing a gun at him what has that person he's been extremely cooperative says that never happened he doesn't know what he's talking about and again i want to stress this is all preliminary i'm just trying to give you the best information i can things do change um, but but that's the best update i have for you the scene's safe we've opened the the road back up we've done a, another hyper reach to let folks know they can come back to their trailers and um, all's good here. So how many people were evacuated this morning? It was six different homes. Uh, I, I don't know the, the exact number of people, um, but it was several. And we used uh, vans to get them out safely. We, we arranged warm places for them. We had some people in our command post at a certain point because we didn't want to just leave them on the side of the road in the cold. Uh, but great team effort here. Want to commend all the members, the command staff, the deputies, uh, the deputies on the SWAT team. Everybody did a, a great job evacuating those folks that's a cautionary just making sure they're okay or did you believe they could be in danger yeah anytime that you have uh, any allegation of a firearm involved and then you have such a, a close neighborhood here of trailers uh, that you know if, so, if a bullet does fly they're not going to withstand much so everybody in that danger zone we evacuated as a precaution and until we could verify exactly what was going on. On top of that, when you have someone that's not uh, responsive to our request to come out, that's a, a barricaded person. So that's why our tactical team was here. And again, the SWAT members did an excellent job. You guys brought in National Grid, is that to shut off the power or is that? Yeah, I'm not gonna get into the tactical things that we do with our team. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna comment on that. You can read between the lines. <laughs> Thanks, Sheriff. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you. And then just.